Hi right, everyone, this is Hayden Master here coming to you guys with a quick teaching message. Are you a, a um are you a d adult that is being bullied? Um maybe on your job, it could be your next door neighbor or something like that. Maybe it could be calling the cops, um you're not getting no satisfaction, you know, because adult bullying is really big and a lot of people don't realize that, you know what I'm saying? You know? It is huge, you know. Because I've seen it many times where I need jobs, I had clients where I even, you know, I mean, our client was being bullied, a man, you know, the man have four children to feed, you know, and um, he showed to me, you know, I even had the testimony, you know, I think the guy was in Georgia or something, I think he was in Georgia, Pennsylvania or something like that. The man came to me and I had to stop his boss or supervisor from bullying the man, you know, because the man had four mouths to feed, the man could have lost his job, I think, over the holiday period, you know, I think that was last year or 2020, 20, uh, something like that. But these are the things, you know, that um, we, we need to understand, you know. Bullying is a serious, serious thing. It's not just children and teenagers being bullied. Sometimes little kids being bullied and stuff. So the parents and them don't know what to do. They're going to the school, the school playing game. Sometimes the, 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 um, the child that bullying their child, um, family might be connected. You know what I'm saying? No? So things like that, no? you know what I'm saying? No? Things like that, person might be connected. So sometimes, you know, I mean, you might be in a state where everything around people know each other and different things like that. So it's kind of rough, you know, but also too, you know, this is a message to let you guys know that that's what I'm here for, you know, it's case by case basis, you know, I'll take, I'll take you know, your book, you're reading and I might be able to help you, you know, something, you know, because the bullying will stop in no time, you know, and this, this, you know, the bullying stop it in less than a week, you know, you know, week that bullying will stop, I'm telling you, you know, something, you know. I have it like that, you know, this is no long, when people are waiting. Now, under two weeks time, your bullying will stop, even less than that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I have it. When I come into my bullying work, you know, I don't play that shit. I'm a Libra, I'm justice, I'm the scales. I, I, I hate bullies. You know what I'm saying? So, but I take things case by case. So, if you know you're an adult out here, you've been bullied on your job, you have, you have, you have mouths to feed, you have kids, you use the breadwinner, whether it's a male or a female. And I'm saying you have a boss right in here. Or, or things like that. You gotta you, you, you gotta do something about it. Because if you do, do something about it, um you won't, you can lose your job. And we yeah, um, right now, I told you guys straight up since early this year, we're in a twenty four month recession. Recession been been happening. You know, up to today, I see Elon Musk. Um, Elon was saying that we, um, right now, that we look like we're in an 18 month recession. You know, and I've been seeing that a long, long time. I've been seeing that since, since January, February, I told you guys that. You know what I'm saying? Huh? I, I even say it way in advance. One thing with me here, you guys know I'm in advance. I don't fucking say shit and make shit up and all that stuff. No, I tell you guys way in advance. A lot of people just come and get readings by me. Because my gift is so advanced, they sit down waiting for stuff to happen, and then stuff might happen gradually, gradually, and then it's unfold. Some of the things will happen sooner. But when I tell this stuff, it don't happen. You know what I'm saying? You know? A lot of times, some people will stay home, will we'll come home, will come home. If I give you a reading, and you're not interacting, how do you expect it to happen? You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. So, that's just how it is a lot of times, you know? So, you just have to be careful. Yeah. So some people just like that, you know, but it's crazy, you know, you know, yeah, I see neighbors, sometimes you might have a neighbor, you could be racist, and the person might try to bully you, you got to do something about that, you know, yeah, you might, even, you, you, you might even want to run the neighbor spiritually or something like that, but you might have to be able to do something that you and your neighbor have to live in peace and harmony, because nobody is trying to move right now, because homes right now, they're expensive. Most people, it's tough to get a loan right now. Where are you going to go? Right now, everybody has to stay put. You know what I'm saying? Most people stay put in a home right now. Everybody home right now going up in value. You know what I'm saying? So most people are going to stay. If you are good neighbors, you're in a good neighborhood, especially if you are young kids and you're in a good school district. You know what I mean? Where are you moving? Where are you going to go? You know what I'm saying? Because you got to spend more money. If you have a nice home, just make sure and stay in your home. You know? And I told you guys straight up, in some markets, I said that in my main blog, some markets, you got to try and sell your home, you know. This is the year to sell your home. 
So next year it might be different. Next year it could be a bust. Next year it could be a bust in some some um some of the markets, you know. Some of the housing markets. I see clear as day, you know. I, I, again, I always tell you guys in advance. I always you go back to my blogs, my monthly blogs for the last two 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 years and a half. I've been consistent. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the politics, I, I, I tell you guys straight up. You know, look at look at the race with Dr. Oz. I told you guys a couple months ago, Dr. Oz have to do three things. You know what I'm saying? You know? And and uh, and let's see if he really did the three things. You know, we'll see. You know, I see things way in advance. You know what I'm saying? I don't just run and whip out stuff and thing and and, and start saying it. No, what, what kind of read is that? No, you need to for you to convince me and readers that I know about. You gotta read shit in advance, months in advance. You know, that's that's when when incredible to me. Nobody just running out shit popping off and then reading and posting and all that. No, you're supposed to read any person in advance. You know what I'm saying? No? Yeah, if I read in any celebrity in advance, whatever it is, shit go pop off. You know what I'm saying? No? Look at Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. I told you guys straight up that I see him moving. You now I see boom. I, I mean, I hear you got moving trucks come this week, ASAP Rocky, to move. Because I know he's a Libra. He's like me. You know, you know, I know how liberal people just move. And he's an October Libra like me too. So I know in his head how how he gonna think. You know what I mean? I know how Michael Pete Jordan gonna think. I know how ASAP Rocky gonna think. You understand what I'm saying? Huh? I know how I know how we Libras just think. The October Libras, not the September Libras, you know. September Libras and October Libras is two different Libras. Fifty percent the same, but the next fifty percent they move different. I could tell you that that. So look at look at September Libras. Like T.I., Lil Wayne, uh, uh, and them. And look at the October Libras. They're different. They move different. You know what I'm saying? It's not like one better than the other, but they, they move differently. You know what I'm saying? No? Yeah, it's a whole different energy. With, with, with the both of them. It's just 50% different. You know? Some some of them will be similar traits, you know? But they, they move differently, you know? So, that's why I know. If that had happened to me, I was packing up and moving the same way too. I wasn't staying there anymore because you, you know you feel like you're being violated. You know the cops come, mess up your whole flow. Same thing like this. Some people they get a place breaking and break um broken into, they're gonna pack up and move. You know, I have, uh, people like that, clients like that, they get a place broken into. They, um, they decide you know what? Nah, I gotta go. I feel violated. You know, some people it's like that. You know, yeah. So I always tell you guys stuff in advance. I told you that's what Elon Musk. That if you don't be careful, that it will come after him. I see now the, the Justice Department opening cases against him because he's talking reckless about the president. How are you going to talk reckless about the man and all them stuff with the teleprompter and all that stuff? And um, and then with Twitter and all that stuff. Everybody see what, what is going on with Twitter, you know? You know, there's a lot of things I'm going to talk about, you know? And I told you guys in advance, you know what I'm saying? No? Yeah. So... Definitely, guys, if anyone of you guys been bullied on your job, you've been bullied by your neighbor, you have you been bullied by, you know, in an apartment and your neighbor bullying you or something like that, and you want it to stop, you might need to book a reading. You know what I'm saying? No? So, my anti bullying happened quickly. You know what I'm saying? No? So, I don't play that. But as I say, I want to deal with things case by case basis. You know what I'm saying? No? After reading, then I'll be able to decide if to take a case. You know what I'm saying? And um, come up with a solution. But um, that's how it is, you know, for me. You know, you guys want to come book a reading, then I'll be able to try and help you out. But other than that, when coming to working with, with, working with, like I working with you, or helping anyone, it's case by case. I don't just take people off the street. We have to connect. I have to feel it from within. My guys have to approve of you. And that's how I will let you in my energy field. I do not give my energy to anyone. And that's why I don't do lives. You're not going to see me in no super chat. You're not going to see me um, doing no, no Patreon and all these different things. I know it's a lot of money. I know people, the money and all that stuff. But that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Huh? We'll be okay. But that's not my style, you know. As I say, I just show, show my skill and keep it moving. I don't have time to be interacting with people. I see even lives every week, you know what I'm saying, you know? on a weekly basis, I'm changing people's lives, you guys see my testimonies every week, every week I have testimonies dropping, I have a lot of testimonies pile up, every week I want to drop testimonies, so you guys go see 
how it is, how it is, um, you know, that what people say. You know what I'm saying? No? You don't do screenshots and things. These people send it in the email. This is, this is the actual people talking. That's how we roll here. You know? Everybody's style is different. I try to keep my shit VIP. You know what I'm saying? No? Yeah, I don't do no screenshots. and mm. You know what I'm saying? No? Yeah, anybody could do a screenshot. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where that come from. I don't know who the person. I don't know where that come from. You know what I'm saying? No? So that's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if I, if I go to a person's website, I seen screenshot testimony. That could be anyone. Anybody can make up that shit. But if I seen that, you know what I mean? Uh, actual email testimony, I could tell the difference between that email and, and somebody write it. You know something? You know? The actual person. You, know? you could tell. You know something? You know? That's what they want. So all these things you gotta look at, you know, guys, you know, when you're choosing somebody, as I always tell people, don't come to me. Um, choose somebody that, that you connect with. You know, as I always tell people, if you gotta come to me, make sure you connect with me for make sure we vibes in. We vibe before you come i'm very humble i'm real cool but don't come in our attitude don't come and feel like you're better than uh, and all that kind of stuff <laughs> don't come here with that i run here quick same way you come you can be going right back out the door i don't feel that shit here come humble and i don't care what color what color or racing don't they come humble and you come with that cocky attitude send it right back out with that cocky attitude you know what i'm saying no? so that's how i roll right through, you know i'm very humble very fair-minded um uh, and that's how I roll, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know? But definitely, guys, man. Remember, I mean, you know, a lot of people are being bullied. A lot of you guys are shame. I see it happening every day. Nobody wants to lose a job in this day and age. You know what I'm saying? You know? So I just want to tell you guys, if you know you're being bullied, book your reading ASAP. You know what I'm saying? You know? Because we in a recession. And I seen a lot of laying off is gonna be happening. You have a lot of things going on in China. A lot of shortages. A lot of places will be shortage with a lot of things. A lot of things will be happening. I'm telling you guys right now, if you had to buy your vehicles now, buy your vehicles now. If you had to make sure and stock up on food, I've been telling you guys every fucking month for the last two years and a half, three years now, every month, stock up, stock up, stock up. Motherfuckers going out and, and, and shopping in a big way like if no. We are monkeypox now, we are this, we are hepatitis, um, with the kids with the liver. You have a variant coming back. You have a lot of shit coming. And, 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 and there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. And people are not paying attention. Look at China. You know what I mean? They're trying to cover up this COVID. Then you see North Korea. It's a lot of things. This is, this is like a war. You know? What people don't understand. We're not going to be seeing no nuclear war and all that stuff. You know? You'll be seeing cyber war. And you're going to be seeing viruses. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get a virus. I'm telling you guys. I see it clear as day. We gonna get a virus here again, goosebumps. We gonna get a virus at a clear's day where we will not be able to go outside for for months. One of these days. We're gonna get a virus gonna hit us so hard. Everybody you can't go outside, you can't go buy food, you can't buy nothing, you gotta stay inside. And the people that who have food to last six months to a year will, will, might be able to survive. You know what I'm saying? I told you, you had to stay inside, I'm telling you. You can't go outside. Everything had to shut down. Remember when like, oh, everything shut down the first time when COVID hit? For the first two months or three months, where everybody was locked down. Everybody was scared. We didn't know what was going on. Like, the whole world, like, everything is stopped. Remember the one time? When you look at New York City Times Square, it was dead. When New York, you know what I'm saying, no? So, that is joke. Which is, I like, see that it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people warning, oh, you guys, everybody you think this is a joke. Look what's going on in China. That is going to have a ripple effect on us when coming to goods and services and all them things. I hope that Biden and the American um, Chamber of Commerce, they start making stuff here back in America again. We need to bring back our factories here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. So these are the things, man. You're being bullied. You need help, male or female. I don't deal with kids. This is for adult bullying only. I don't deal with no kids or not like that. I don't deal with people that are under 18 years old. Um, I'm gonna be over 21. I'm making over 21 to get a reading with me. And uh, to work with me, I as I, I say, I mean, uh, I like to work with people over 30 years old. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't like you know young, anybody like the 20s and stuff. It, uh, you can get a reading. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but when coming to work with me, you gotta really, really. Um, thing because I mean I love you young I love the young ones but some of you guys man uh -uh. 
You guys all over the place, you know. Yeah, I like grown people, you know. Over 30, over 35, yes. You know what I'm saying, you know? And you need help, I'm glad to help you, you know. It doesn't matter. As long as you come humble, I'll be able to help you. But you come like an asshole, I, I, I mean, you know, I, I run you back out the door. You know what I'm saying, you know? So, peace, love, and blessings, man. This is what the Spiritual Fixer team is here for, to help you. Um, book your reading, don't forget, the spiritualfixer.com. Peace, love, and blessing. You guys will hear more from me soon. Bye.